see, why does wrestling not get enough credit as an actual sport? I've seen many people refer to wrestling as fake, just like the four major sports in this country. We've seen injuries, comeback stories, underdog title wins. If that doesn't scream sport to you, I don't know what does, especially when you take into account the amount of wear and tear guys put on their bodies. Is WWE's uh, is WWE at fault or the industry as a whole for why wrestling is overlooked as a sport? Well, first of all, it depends. You know, some people look at sports as being uh, something with a quote unquote legitimate outcome. The fact that wrestling has a predetermined outcome in some cases that automatically disqualifies some people from considering it a sport. If that's your definition of what a sport is, then yes, wrestling is not a sport. If you can look past that, it absolutely is a sport. It's the reason why Tony Schiavone would go on TV every week in WCW and go, you know, this is the greatest night in the history of our sport. You know, it really just depends on your own personal uh, definition for it. But I think you're asking me who's to blame. Who's to blame for why a lot of people don't look at wrestling as a sport? It's it, I blame WWE. I blame Vince McMahon. And I'll tell you why. First of all, all the cartoon nonsense, the way they you know book their product, uh, they, they've gone through periods where it's kind of more serious. Like I look at the uh, Ruthless Aggression era on SmackDown. There was nothing cartoony about that. I mean, that was some, some serious stuff they were doing back then with some serious athletes and amateur wrestlers and Haas and Benjamin and Lesnar and Angle and Benoit and Eddie and all those guys. There was nothing cartoon about it. But I think they've gone through these different periods where WWE, I mean, they just get so gimmick crazy. you got to have a gimmick. you got to have a character. Let's have a garbage man. Let's have a, a dentist. Let's have a fucking voodoo guy. Let's have all this stuff. And it's, you know, as a kid, you grow up with these larger-than-life characters, and it's very entertaining but I can see why a, you know, a person in their 20s or their 30s or their 50s would look at this and go, this ain't a fucking sport. This is a fucking sideshow. This is a circus. And here's the other reason why. For so many years, WWE ran from the sports label. We're not sport. We're entertainment. We're entertainment. They would go out of their way. They would get angry if they were doing an interview and a media person referred to them as a sport. But yet, in their Did You Know Facts on television every week, they couldn't wait each week to promote the fact that, hey, our new DVD that just came out is number one on the sports charts, right? It's not number one on the entertainment charts. It's number one on the sports charts. They didn't seem to have a problem with that. But for so long, they ran from the sports label. I don't, I don't think they're running from it so much now, but they did for so long. How many times has Vince McMahon, he's balked? wrestling, wrestling's what my father did, it's entertainment, we tell stories, we're movies, you know, we put on two-hour movies, or now three-hour movies every Monday night, we're not a sport. Well, why do you think people don't look at wrestling as a sport? Because the people who run wrestling don't look at it as a sport. And so they've created that, that you know, they've created that whole uh, situation for themselves. If I had to put the, the blame on anybody, yeah, it's Vince McMahon and WWE. They have the loudest voice, he has the biggest company, and as wrestling goes, I think it's it's fair to say, so goes, or I should say as WWE goes, so goes the rest of the wrestling business. If WWE is in a really hot period, if there was another boom, then guess what? Ring of Honor would benefit, maybe Lucha Underground and TNA would benefit, PWG, all the indies, everybody benefits. And if WWE goes into the shitter, and some people would say they're already in it now, I wouldn't go that far, but if all of a sudden they go all the way down, they take a big dip in business, that's going to hurt everybody else. That's just how it is. That's how it's always been. Not necessarily in other countries. You can have a dead period in this country, but maybe in Japan or Mexico or wherever, you know, business is booming. I'm talking here in this country. So if WWE is booking themselves to be a joke, if they're booking themselves, we're not sport, we're entertainment, and we have people, you know, fucking other people in caskets and necrophilia and all this other stuff that they've done, then people's perception of wrestling is going to be that it's, a freaking sideshow. And that's the way Vince McMahon wanted it. Well, he got what he wanted.